Swing and a miss. Uh. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get back into Shotgun Sunday. Once again, out with the all gens. We've been running into some issues with the lifter on this, not completely getting that uh, shell lined up with the chamber. Uh, maybe some extractor stuff. And to be frankly honest with you, if we're not running very much better today, if that's even a thing, um, we're going to just call it, you know, because we're running into way too many issues as far as feeding goes with this and uh, have to send it off or something. I don't know. But at the end of the day, we'll give it one more good college try and go from there. This time we're gonna be running a couple of different styles of shot. Obviously we've got our seven and a half bird shot, we've got some four shot, and then I've got a box that's just a mix of a whole bunch of low brass, high brass stuff. So we will uh, definitely uh, get a, a decent mix, I would say, for this today. All right, so uh, once again, naturally, as I mentioned last time, always forget something, have to use my camera bag uh, <laughs> to use as a uh, pouch. So we'll start off with this federal one and a half inch, or excuse me, one and a half inch. Goodness, I'm uh, struggling today. Much. But uh, seven and a half, seven and a half shot, uh, two and three quarter low brass. So we'll see what happens with that. And go from there. Two in. Yep. Oh. Yep. We'll see. Just not making it quite into the chamber there. Close, so close. That one's for you, Matt. There we go. All right. First 25 down, we will uh, switch over some four shot. And uh, this is high brass four shot. So a little bit more oomph on this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you think? I wouldn't try it. Yep. All right. We'll set this one aside. Ding. <laughs> All right. We'll be down one. Right. I believe this is, I think, is just a mixture of different types of stuff that I've got, some low brass and some high brass. So 
Uh, obviously low brass six, some more low brass six, more low brass six, and then I got some of these high brass fours. So, nice little spicy surprise. Yep. Pretty much rotating here. Almost. I can definitely feel the difference over here. <laughs> All right, and then the last one is going to be these uh, high velocity four shots, three inch shells. So that means I can't put as many shells into the magazine. That's what that means. These are gonna hurt. Ah. You hurt the gun. Maybe a little both. Oh wow. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Uh. Is that why that shotgun sh shoots low to the left? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There it be. That one hurts, man. Man, that hurts. It's tearing up my shoulder. And I'm doing it for you guys, right? <laughs> Still having issues with the uh, feeding on that. And to be frankly honest with you, I don't really know what to tell you as far as why that is. Uh, I am not a shotgun expert, so trying to uh, diagnose what the issue is here is just kind of out of my ballpark. So I might ask around, uh, talk to some of my gunsmithing buddies and see if they've got any ideas as to what we could be looking at. But to be frankly honest with you, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it on the all gins because of these feeding issues. Just dumping more rounds through it isn't going to change anything or still gonna have feeding issues and so on and so forth. So we'll call it good at this point, it'll shoot as long as it feeds, but if it's not feeding correctly, I can't recommend this to anybody to, you know, help save their lives or to go hunting with or anything like that. So uh, there you have it. That's that. With that being said, I'd appreciate you guys consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. Give me a like, a comment down below. What do you guys think? Is there something I should be doing differently with this? And with that being said, we have another shotgun in route to the channel right now from uh, G-Force Arms. I'm actually interested to see what they have on this next um, this next shotgun that they're going to send out. Uh, with that being said, we're also going to look at a, uh, another pump action. Uh, I've heard a lot of people ask for the Maverick 88. We're going to get one. We're going to get it out to the channel. We're going to run it to see how well it holds up and go from there. With that being said, I really do appreciate you guys swinging by. As always, freedom through strength, here comes the high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.